بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد السلام عليكم everybody and very well welcome back to the latest Arabic language tutorial here on the channel uh, so I had a question uh, following on from yesterday's video that was about conjugating past tense verbs and some practice uh, conjugating past tense verbs and doing the conjugations in maybe a different order to, to aid your memory but uh, after that a subscriber who's fairly regular on the channel I've seen his comments in and out a few times with the name Abu Kitten uh, an English version of the name Abu Huraira obviously I uh, wanted to ask about present tense verbs and uh, I think it deserves a whole lesson talking about present tense verbs because and I'll start with saying that present tense verbs generally are seen as harder by students and, and by teachers are harder to teach um, you know the present tense verbs but I just like to start by saying that usually the present tense verbs seem difficult the, the reason why they seem difficult is because the proper work hasn't been done to lay the foundations in the past tense so normally when we come to present tense verbs, you've only ever learnt maybe one type of past tense verb. And then when you come into the present tense, you realise actually how broad it is and how much you might have missed out on. So we start out by just doing a little reminder and talking about something with past tense verbs. Actually with past tense verbs, with like normal form one past tense verbs, there are actually five different forms of past tense verbs. You get verbs that are like this, okay, that are kind of in just a normal fa'ala pattern, right? Fa'ala. There are three verbs that come into that category. There are three types of verbs that go into that category. You get other types of verb. You get another type of verb, which is in like a fa'ila pattern. So it's not fa'ala, it's fa'ila this time. And there's only one in that. And you get other types of past tense verbs that are fa'ula. Okay, and there's only one type, there's only one type of verb in that category. But, but often we only really encounter these. You encounter these a a a verbs, these kataba or abada, ja'ala, sa'ala verbs up here. And we don't really learn their sub, the kind of subgroups. And then we, we certainly don't very often see fa'ula. They're, they're very rare types of verbs. I mean, I'd say in Arabic, maybe 70% of verbs are like this. And then, you know, maybe, I don't know. 20% of verbs are like this, or maybe 25%, maybe. This, this is just sort of me estimating, really, what it might be. And then maybe 10% of verbs are like that. So these get neglected a lot, but, but that's why the present tense seems harder, because we neglect them sometimes. So, um, if we see some examples of these, like what, how are there three types of, how are the three types of verbs that are fa'ala verbs? So let, let me put some verbs up to start, just for us to think about what I mean by that. So let's have katebe. Kataba. Let's have um, qara'a. Qara'a. And then we'll have um, jalasa. Kataba means to write. Qara'a means to read. Jalasa means to sit. Uh, let's have a look at one that's fa'ila. You could have one like shariba. In, in, my, in my curriculum, I demonstrate with shariba. But you could have fahima or alima. But we'll go with shariba just because my students will be more familiar with it. Shariba means to drink. Shariba. Shariba. And then these are really rare. You know, they're usually to do with size of things. Um, you know, so you have the verb sort of to become great, which is avoma, or to become smaller, which is sagora. But we'll demonstrate with the verb kabora. Kabora. A lot of you might have heard the word kabir before, meaning big. Kabora sort of means to become big. Okay. So these five verbs that they kind of give us the patterns for how we find the present tense verbs. So even though these are all a a a, you have some types of verbs that in the present tense become yektubu. And this u here is the important bit, right? Yektubu. With qara'a, you'd expect this to become yakru'u, but it doesn't, it becomes yakra'u. Yakra'u, jalasa, you would expect from these two for jalasa to become yajlusu or yajlesu, but it doesn't. It becomes yajlisu. Yajlisu. So you get some verbs at that fatha, you get like fatha to dhamma verbs in this middle letter, fatha to dhamma ones, and then you get kind of fatha to um, to fatha, if it's qara'a, yaqara'u. And then you get some verbs that are, you know, fatha to kasra verbs. 
Yeji Lisu, this middle letter, this Ain letter, um, you know, become, has a castle on it now. So we often don't learn, we often don't take the time when we learn the past tense to learn those subsections, to learn those subsections of, uh, of those different verbs. So, okay, what's next? A good little rule, if it's ever a kasara on that middle letter, if it's not a a a, if it's shariba or alima or fahima, it'll always become a fatha. It's just a rule, right? That's just a rule that you can remember. So it's going to be yesh rabu. Yesh rabu. So this over here is actually a, like a kasara to a fatha verb. All of these are fatha to dhamma. Fatha to fatha, fatha to kasra. Now we have like a kasra to fatha on that middle letter. Whenever we're talking about any of these, the ayn letter, the middle radical, is where all the magic is. You know, this is really a lesson about well, the way the ayn letter behaves. This is kind of the first step in getting in getting the base for a present tense verb, let alone even to start conjugating it. But um, okay, then the last one. This is the last one. Thank God for that. Um, okay, there's a dhamma in the middle, right? This dhamma. It's just going to stay as a dhamma, okay? The ayn letter, or that middle letter of the, of the verb, is going to become yek buru. Yek buru. And that always happens, okay? If there's ever a kasra on that middle letter, it will become a fatha in the present. If there's ever a dhamma on that middle letter, that's ayn letter, it will, it will remain a dhamma in the present. But then the only question arises is that, so if you have a fa'ala verb, like kataba or qara'a or jalasa, how do you know? Like how do you know that jalasa doesn't become yajlusu? You've got to memorise it. That's the answer, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, with these, you just got to memorise it. I could probably tell you the most common is probably this one. It's most common that they go a a a to, to an u, to yektubu. Okay, so we'll pick a couple of those. Um, and then we'll just run through a conjugation. So, so basically, what, what I'm demonstrating here is really giving you a, a better foundation and a basis for the past tense verbs that you will have done before. You know, often, you know, often students when they learn the past tense, they don't realize that there are these five, like five different types or five different patterns of past tense verbs. And these only exist in the form one. Like when you get onto other forms, it's way easier. But, but this only exists in the form one. So let's pick a couple and then we'll run through them. So yesterday we practiced in the past tense ja'ala and se'ala. So those two happen to be, so we go ja'ala yaj'alu, ja'ala yaj'alu, se'ala yas'alu. So both of those are in this group. Qara'a yaqra'u, se'ala yas'alu, ja'ala yaj'alu. They're both in that category. Um, but we'll pick a couple. Let's do, um, let's do jalasa and let's do shariba. So we'll do jalasa and we'll conjugate it the whole way through. And we'll conjugate shariba as well. So I'm just going to clean the board and then we'll start with that, inshallah. So as I said, we're going to start with the verb jelesa, first of all. So jelesa, if you remember those rules that are on the board earlier, we'd go jelesa yejlisu. Okay, so generally in the present tense, it's a game of suffixes. Um, prefixes, sorry. It's a game of prefixes, things that go before words. So this ya that you put on the beginning, that's what we call a prefix. It's something you, you put on the beginning. And a good way of remembering that is presents have prefixes. Pre present for prefixes. Okay, so like all of these verbs, I'll have a little something you stick on the beginning of your of your jealousy. And in this case, it's yejlisu, yejlisu. And when we say he or she, it's a te. Tejlisu. Tejlisu. Yeah, yejlisu, tejlisu. And then the u masculine is tejlisu again. It's the same. It's one less to remember. Yeah, when you get to that second one, you know that these are two. These two are just the same. Yeah, so yejlisu, tejlisu, tejlisu. The next one has a prefix, but it also has a suffix. So we begin the same as the the here. Tejlisu. We're gonna have tejlis, and then we're gonna have ina on the end. Tejlisina. Yejlisu, tejlisu, tejlisu. Tejlisina, and then last of all, this a eh at the beginning of ana, we put it at the beginning. Ejlisu. Ejlisu. Ana ejlisu means I, I sit down. Jelesa, the verb to sit down. Ejlisu. He sits yejlisu. She sits tejlisu. You sit tejlisu. 
you sit, but if, if you're a girl, tejlisina, and then ena ejlisu. Great. Uh, we'll do another verb, but we'll do it in the other order. If you watch the previous video, like we'll do it in kind of the in like a Western language learning traditional order. Um, so we'll start with ena. We'll do it the other way around. I'll, I'll write them actually up here, just so we don't forget them. You know, we'll have I, you, uh, you, and then he. I think it was, and then she. Do them over here. What's the verb we're going to do? Um, we're going to do um, shariba. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. So, shariba, because it's shariba. That's i at the beginning, and the present tense becomes an a. So, yashrabu. 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 So, we're going to borrow these same. We're going to borrow these same prefixes and suffixes. We're going to borrow those same ones. Here, we put a te on the beginning. So, yashrabu is going to become tashrabu. Teshrabu. And then the same as these two were the same. These two are the same again. Teshrabu. When I say these two, by the way, I mean I mean she and you masculine. They're, they're the same. Teshrabu. To, if you're talking she, she drinks. Teshrabu. You drink. Teshrabu. They're the same. Uh, he is just... Um, I'm sorry, so I've made the mistake there. I've confused myself. Eshrabu. Because we're doing Anna first, aren't we? Anna Eshrabu. And then you, tashrabina. Sorry about that, guys. Tashrabina. You know, so we're saying, I first, sorry, ana ashrabu. You, enter tashrabu. You to a girl, tashrabina. And then, but now we're back to the he, right? We're back to the one that we would have started with up there. Yashrabu. Yashrabu. Cool. And then she is the same as this one. Right, the same way that, the same way that over here these two are next to each other. Now they're sort of like this. These two are the same now. Tesharabu. Tesharabu. Good. So actually down here, if the camera can see down here, I, I'll write these out, but only with the suffixes. So the he just has a yeah on the beginning. That's the suffix. The she has a t on the beginning. The U, masculine, has a t on the beginning. The U, feminine, has a t on the beginning, but then also an ina on the end. And then the I has an a on the beginning. Those are the prefixes and the suffixes that you use for the present tense verbs. Usually people don't memorize that and learn it just by once looking at it. So practice some of them yourself. Uh, there is a really, really good, really, really good book. I gave my copy away on a giveaway um, that I did on this channel. But um, there's a book called 501 Arabic Verbs. And if you ever struggle with how to conjugate a particular verb, you can get hold of that book. Maybe I'll link it up in the description because then I can get a commission as well and help support my channel. So um, if you buy that through my channel, then I'll get, I'll get a commission from that and that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, 501 verbs, whatever, even if I don't get a commission, if you see it in a charity shop or something, buy it. And, um, you know, that can help you, inshallah, um, you know, to, uh, to conjugate any verbs that you're not sure about their conjugations for. If you have any more questions or anything you'd like me to expand on, then please just put them in the comments. I will get back to you. I will make extra videos for you guys, but just communicate with me, inshallah. If there's anything bigger that you'd like to talk to me about, um, you know, any other good ideas for lessons that you'd like me to cover, then email me, arabutsam, gmail. Dot com and um, yeah, that's it that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video and think other people would don't forget to share it I, I care more about the sharing of it than the liking and the subscribing really to be honest like I'm prepared to put a lot of work into these videos and I just want people to reach them if they're going to benefit people so so make sure that you're telling people about it and sharing it for me and um, I really appreciate that but until next time assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhum